Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian. Today we have another really interesting bottle to talk about. Uh, this one just released here in Louisville. And unfortunately, I think that's the only place that you're going to be able to find it. But this comes from the folks at Angel's Envy. This is a bottled and bond Kentucky straight bourbon cask strength. So let's pull this back a little bit here. Let's talk about this. So we know that bottled and bond has to be 100 proof. And so generally, folks are proofing it down to get to that. But this is cask strength bottled and bond. So what is that? Well, it's cask strength bottled and bond. It is cask strength 100 proof whiskey. So why are we seeing this uh, and now and how are we seeing this from Angel's Envy? So another thing really quick to mention, if I didn't already say it, this is not finished. So Angel's Envy has long been known for their finished bourbon, the finished rise. That's kind of their main staple product. That's kind of their thing, right? Is that they have this port finished bourbon. They have this rum finished rye. That's that's Angel's Envy. So this is unfinished, bottled and bond, these are barrels from 2018. And what happened is when these barrels were laid down in 2018, they were put in 103 entry proof. They were put lower in the warehouse. And I think they thought that that was gonna get them right around the 100 proof, but these actually came in under 100 proof. So we have these like 97, 98 proof uh, barrels that came out of there. 27 of these lower proof barrels were blended with two barrels of um, higher proof to get to that final proof point at 100 cask strength. This released here in Louisville, Kentucky, it has a $55 SRP, is a 375 milliliter bottle, so half size of a regular bourbon, $55. What are we going to get in this? Let's go ahead and find out. Well, I have you here. If you don't mind, jump down below, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let me know what your favorite bottled and bond has been so far. I won't lie, I, um, I assumed, based from other Angels Envy releases, that there was going to be plenty of product available locally to, to go out and grab. So I didn't go out and grab one of these, but my friend did, came by the studio, and I, after trying it, I said, I've got to have to talk about this. I think there's a lot of people who will be interested in hearing about this bottle if they're traveling through, whether or not they should pick it up. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the nose, talk about a little bit. If you were to see some of the legs on this, I don't think you're going to be able to pull them out on this glass specifically. Um, they run a little quick, colors a little on the light side, so nothing too crazy here. Let's go ahead and jump in. The nose already is uh, relatively inviting, if not maybe a little bit missing in terms of something to really, really draw me in, but a lot of great classic bourbon flavors. Creamy vanilla, just maybe a hair smoked. Got some cherry cobbler, it's got some derby pie. So in derby pie, think pecan pie, it's kind of gooey, it's kind of nutty, but then you have some, some kind of caramel, you've got uh, a little bit of like semi-sweet chocolate to it. All those notes kind of present here. And then kind of uh, the last thing I pull up is this slightly charred oak note. It does admittedly you know, leave a little bit more to be desired in my mind on the nose, but we're not gonna just sniff it. Let's go ahead and jump into a taste of this guy. I feel like, uh, expectedly yet also unexpectedly the proof is coating right away i think that there's uh, an interesting sensation where i'm both left hey yeah this is 100 proof and it tastes it and then there's also with that coating something that's like oh man this is pretty coating for being 100 proof man there is a lot of these nice bright cherry notes on here there's a lot of peachy sweetness kind of like a peach cobbler so think dense chewy kind of leans into the caramels a little bit more but also there's just nice ripe peach note there too these rich toasted vanilla tones in there lots of brown sugar there's beautiful spice it's not overly spicy but there's complimenting spice i mean you can tell it is really balanced in here as well and then lots of really really nice oak i'm i'm not kidding this you know i'm not going to draw the comparison uh on this for a product because it's it's not but if you go back or you remember back if you watch the channel my old Fitzgerald 13 year video that I did I basically was just summing up all the flavors and saying man this is perfect like this is just beautiful well put together also 100 proof by the way but this right here I'm not gonna lie while the nose left a little bit more to be desired I don't know that the palate necessarily does now it's not overly complex you know I like a whole lot of layers to pull from but this is just really really nice the flavors are, are perfect there they're balanced it has everything that it does have it has really really well great harmony and i feel like nothing really pulls or distracts away from anything else this is just really well flavored bourbon 
I really can't get over. Um, I think it's got this nice pop of brown sugar and oak that finishes the sips. It lasts really, really long. And I love that. To be honest, what I did do is I went and grabbed two particular bottles that I had here um, in the studio because I was kind of curious. What what it reminds me of, honestly, is Old Forester. We've had this 117 series that rolls out of the distillery, and you try all different types of things. We've had Bottled and Bond. We've had the Whiskey Row Fire, all types of flavors. And I think that there's a lot of really good ones in that series, but some of them just have a little bit too much of that kind of old Forester banana-y type profile. And comparing or tasting through these particular products, I would say one thing I love about old Forester is that it tastes richer and more coating than the age, kind of like this Angel's Envy does. That's why I, the, the first thing that made me think about it. However, the flavor pocket is also really similar. It just misses all of the banana type notes that you have in old Forester. So if you want a product that maybe doesn't have as much char, type of uh, heft as Old Forester. Maybe you want a cleaner profile. Again, you notice that peach kind of come out a little bit more and you don't want that banana type flavor. Angel's Envy is going to give you something similar to that without that banana type note. Really, really great balance. So again, it's going to be interesting. It comes down to this price point. I do think it's probably maybe a little bit overpriced for what you're going to get flavor wise. But again, if you are thinking about just kind of overall experience, i I honestly do like 375 sizes. I like smaller sizes. I like the 117 series. They're coming in also in that $55, $65 range. So yes, they're kind of on this slightly higher thing. They're not as high in premium as we're seeing some of these other bottles in the 150, 200 or more range. That said, it also, they don't really have the specs to back that up either. So this is gonna be another your miles may vary situation, whether you're willing to shell out that kind of price for something at 375, an equivalent of $110 for a bottle like this. I don't think it drinks like $110, but it's a really beautiful bourbon. I think that it's good to at least have one of these to try these, to be able to tr let other people try these. It's a great example of what Angel's Envy is able to do. I'm surprised that we're just now seeing something like this. Unfinished Angel's Envy. This is solid. This richness that comes from this type of proofing, really enjoyable. It's inaugural release of this. I think that's what it said on the side. It says, whoop, wrong side. Yeah, it says introducing the inaugural unfinished release. So are we going to see different ages here? Are we going to see uh, that they're all bald in bond i don't know i don't know that we're gonna see that because the language leaves some room to maybe jump up to a not bald in bond cash strength or or switch some other factor around there but i think for i think anybody who does pick one of these up i hope that you're satisfied with what you get i'm not mad at all about this product again from my particular palette i do look for a little bit more but i would be more than happy to be sipping and sitting with this one in my house, outside by a fire, bring it out with some friends. And for that case, I think 375 might go really, really quickly. I'm teetering back and forth on this because while it doesn't give me all the things that I generally would look for, because of how balanced and enjoyable it is, I definitely think that I'm gonna throw this in the consideration for products at the end of the year, ones that I really like. But that's gonna be it for me. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you were in town, you got a chance to try this one, pick this up. Let me know what your all's thoughts have been if you guys enjoy this product as you watch this video. If you come back around to this product, you get one uh, on your travels or whatever. Again, leave me a message down below. I'd love to hear what you all think about this product when you get a chance to try it. A nice release here from Angels Envy. I look forward to seeing what else they do in coming years. Thanks everybody for tuning into another video. I hope it was insightful, informational. Hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, we'll see you all later.